Hello fellow gamers and welcome to an episode of a game called RimWorld. Now RimWorld has been on green light for a while, it's been green lit now and um, it's coming to Steam soon. It's described as a sci-fi colony sim and it's uh, about three survivors from a space liner that are building a colony on the rim of the galaxy, hence RimWorld. Um, as far as I know that their aim is to get off the planet eventually, building some sort of spaceship, I haven't really played it that far, definitely not, but so far I like it. It's, it's a very nice game. So in, as you can see here on the menu, the first thing you have to do uh, if you want to play a game, you create a new colony. Um, but you can't really create a new colony unless you have created a world. So let's create a world first. Name games for cakes. And I, I'm not sure what these sizes refer to. If they're 250 million pixels by 188 million pixels, I, I don't really know. So I usually leave the default. Hit generate. And there you go. So there's a world now. It's called Rasp Pact whatever, something like that, and you can't rename it, which is a bit of a pain, um, but it's okay, it's not the end of the world. So this is your map, there's different biomes, as you can see, so you can click here and you can see the biome description here. Uh, this biome is currently, um, one of the biomes is not implemented currently, yeah, Tundra biome not implemented, uh, Boreal forest biome not implemented, so, but these green guys here and jungles are there, and uh, uh, arid shrubland and so on you have uh, oh, uh, evil colonies a faction the jaguars a pirate band okay that's enough of that so we save the world we start a new colony the game is driven by something the developer calls an ai storyteller the game creates events similar like uh, say pirate raids uh, trader arrivals or world events like nature events like storms um but it says here that uh, i'm just uh, looking at the description of the storyteller but the events aren't random when rimworld uses an ai storyteller modeled after the ai ai director from the left for dead who analyzes your situation and decides which event she thinks will make the best story so there's there's several storytellers so if this if this ai is written intelligently enough you could actually get very interesting games now you have three storytellers one storyteller which is cassandra um she she as it says here increasing steadily increases the challenge of uh, of the events then you have phoebe uh, which gives you loads of time between disasters so you can relax and build your colony now that would be more my type of style especially when i'm starting to learn a game um and I leave it on casual. Well, actually, let's be less of a sissy and just... Uh, it's a huge jump, though, isn't it? I mean, uh, the, the normal setting is challenge, which basically each of these have the same uh, settings. Yeah, And the settings basically mean uh, on challenge, when a storyteller sends a threat after you, the threat will be 100% uh, of the intended size or challenge. Yeah, But if you go down builder mode, for example, it says it will be 5% the size of normal mode of challenge mode yeah so rough is 60 percent and casual is 25 it, it's a pity it doesn't have something like 40 percent or something but 60 well you know what let's just leave it on 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 rough and see how we get on now then you have the last one which is randy random and randy um generates random events so he as it says there he doesn't really care okay too much so he just every now and then just creates an event and he doesn't care if it fits the story or not okay so i suppose cassandra is the one you might want to start with then if you want to increasingly challenge yourself and this is more for me where i can focus on building or whatnot it's up to you so yeah, i already had actually a world created previously so let's create the let's select the world i created just now we are going into um we, we're not, we don't need to go into advanced um this is just changing the size of everything um we're not going to touch this for now like uh, there's no point um then we can select the site so what we're going to do is we're going to place our cursor somewhere 
and say yes that's where we want to start which is a nice little feature to have like that you have a little bit of influence on, on where you can start so um, I like to start near water that's it's oh boreal forest biome not implemented I thought that was water oh the the blue stuff is water but I don't want to be too close to the pirates at the beginning Um it's actually not that great a map it's oh what is that over there yeah that that seems to be um that seems to be all right there let me see sorry that was my phone vibrating there i'm not sure if that was audible or not this is water yeah absolutely good good so what we're going to do is i'm going to go here in the edge of the map away from the pirates near the grassland but close to water and let's just start there and select that site now you have three you have three survivors that uh, um you're gonna start with you start with three people you can increase that over time by various in various ways um, now the statistics on the bottom the skills are not really as important straight away to fully understand however it is important that certain aspects are covered like you don't want straight away because this is like a difficulty level really adding like imagine you, you can see here that this person for example is inca incapable of caring social artistic hauling yeah hauling is actually quite important because hauling allows them to pick up the things and put them into places where they belong and, and, and so forth so not being I don't like in the beginning if I want to learn a game this this type of game I don't want any of these settings actually missed out so you can randomize them and um, until you find something that you're happy with like this person has at least something and everything so he's very good socially he's incapable of dumb labor which i don't quite understand what that is um and he's incapable of cleaning so okay and then this this person also has traits he's he or she rick rick is psychically hypersensitive or psychic sensitive so stumpy's mind is like a psychic tuning fork he's extremely sensitive to psychic phenomena so which could be which is not a good thing but uh, a nudist okay stumpy enjoys the feeling of freedom that comes from being nude okay let's not get weird okay let's just um see what we get okay this looks better for me as a beginner now medicine that's very good because you are artistic okay fair enough medicine is very important so you can heal people so he could be our healer for example or she actually andrea frank is that first name surname it's very confusing um very good at shooting mining very she likes well she's not incapable of anything which is good she's a military commissioner or com commissar commissar i don't know she's shooting plus three sickly child construction minus two mail minus two social minus two medicine plus five so yeah leave her okay that's fine leave that like that and start okay the three of you awake in your cryo in your crypto sleep sarcophagi sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal you barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart sometime later you land on this unknown rim world as pieces of the shredded starship fall around you you start making plans to survive so we landed actually this is not a bad starting area so this is this is all this is pretty sweet actually okay so as you can see the graphics should look semi familiar to you if you have played a certain game um uh, where you land there's a lot of debris at the start and as you start the game it tells you straight away on the right hand side what you need it says you need a stockpile you need to build a room take your equipment need growing zone need colonist beds and need equipped weapons so this kind of guides you as in what you should be doing next so the first thing we want to do is uh, tab opens this architect or you can just click on it you click on a zone and you want to create a stockpile zone so a stockpile zone naturally it says there create a stockpile where your colonists will store resources this tool can be can also expand any existing stockpile okay so let's just build a stockpile well let's just make it put it right here okay uh, to about here yeah let's do that okay and um, well we don't need to be over water okay let's start that 
Oh, yeah, there you go. Nope, doesn't like it. Actually, you can't cancel it. That's really strange. Stockpile. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to select pretty much everything here that came with us or so here and we need to unlock it and the moment this is locked and forbids the colonists to interact with it so we want to unlock these we want to unlock these you just double click an item and it selects the similar items now this is because that's all loose debris really that um, it doesn't work with resources on the map that you double click them and they select everything um, WASD is where you move up and down and so on so okay this guy here is still locked because he wasn't on the map at the time of selection and yeah okay let the guys start collecting so you will see now they start randomly walking off and collecting now and doing what they're supposed to do in the overview here you have also a few of your three people they have their own priorities built in say for example this guy and this guy they, they're not gonna grow anything on any farm they, they won't okay they don't see it as a priority you can override this with your manual priorities so in four it means low priority one is the highest priority so in the beginning they should all be hauling and crafting and mining if they can so and doctrine well yeah it's just important um, they don't need any researching for now or art they don't need any of that plant cutting yeah just and growing and repairing they all should be doing that and construction hunting not as important right now okay so we leave it like that for the moment so all of them should be doing their jobs now as expected at this point now it also says that we need to build a room and to take our equipment so you will see that here are guns and a rifle so let's go and click on one of our first people look at the character and see who is the best shooting uh, so who has the best shooting stats so we have Levin and then okay we have a six here for Andrea and Derby or Darby has an eight so yeah so Darby really enjoys obviously the shooting so Darby is gonna take the Lee Enfield Andrea is going to take the pistol and so is Levin he's going to take a pistol and now they have their weapons equipped so if you look at your character at the gear you can see they have the pistol equipped they have some basic apparel and uh, something in the inventory you can see the thoughts of your people the mood it gives you details on this now this game can be played ignoring most of this or you can if you're really into statistics and micromanaging you you can do that so like here you have health I mean there is a tons of statistics on all of these guys it's you, like if you're a statistics um, nerd like then you will love all this okay so what we need to start with now it says build a room and it gives you some help it says a room is composed of separate wall pieces with a door so let's go into our architect let's look at structures and we can see walls so if we actually we can you click on that and you can select you want wood now we have wood so let's build a wood wall now I do like that we already have a structure here but what I do like even more is I can build a wall let me see here because that means we actually are pretty much naturally protected from everything else so let's build a wall right here that would be great so yeah absolutely let's build a wall right here and have a door approximately here and will we make it an automatic door or nah we we'll just make it a normal door for now okay now this has nothing to do with this it's just I think this is really great at the beginning if you get an area like that boom you can protect yourself um, this is a geyser which is great actually to have because um, actually let me just cancel all that I might want the geyser actually in my area that's a geyser basically when you build a power 
structure because it's, it, this game is basically similar to Prison Architect in that's in in not it is not like Prison Architect, but it is in a way from the way you build stuff. Okay, so you can select items and put them down and create your um, plans on where you want something to be and so on and so on. So in that sense, it's quite similar. Now, uh, you usually can have a solar generator which during the day charges, fills up batteries, and then you can use the power during night. However, you can also have a, a geothermal generator which produces electricity from geothermal steam geysers. Geysers? Ge geysers? Geysers? It must be placed on a geyser, whatever way you pronounce that. So you can place them right here on top, and they will give you power. So maybe just maybe what we're gonna do is oh I love this this corner is beautiful like we're completely protected by so much uh, natural wall and this is just amazing so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna build this power there and I'm gonna build a wooden wall here oh I can't build here why is that I can't build there. Let me see. That's interesting. Why can I not build there? Okay, it's obviously... Um, and you also have hotkeys of everything, so I can press B and then select it. So, obviously this is bad ground or something, so I can build here. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, And I can build here which maybe I want to put it about here because this is nice metal so I might actually just want to build it here okay so now we are covered pretty much protected here and we have loads of ways to, to build and mine so this seems to be a good starting area to be honest now we also want to start building some rooms so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we built near the geyser, actually, or geyser, I can't pronounce that word. Um, if anybody wants to phonetically spell it out, please feel free to do so. Um, I will start building, uh, oh yeah, the structure, the same difference. So you build a wooden wall, but you build, let's build it, um, not right there, but yeah, let the guys actually build something here. So here, here, here and here. I'm gonna pause the game, you just press hit space to pause it and then space again to go to normal speed. It gives you some time to plan. Again, very familiar people who love this type of stuff, like they they, they will just enjoy this game very much. So I will um, I will look at beds. Furniture. Actually we go with wooden beds because we have plenty of trees and wood here. So if we zoom in, did I make the wall too high? Yeah, actually no, it's fine. So let's put one bed here, one bed here, and one bed here, and then we can make this wall. So that's just me wanting to make it all kind of same spacey. There we go. Okay. And we can have an entrance door here, there, and we can put the door here, and we might as well put another door here. Okay, so this will build the room for the guys, and their beds in it. Now we need a growing zone, and colonist, colonist beds are here, and we need a growing zone. Now, you can see already, the guys are starting heavily building this, but I want them to actually start focusing on that. Prioritize working on this. So I'm going to tell them basically to build the buildings first. And um, the beds. So actually I'm going to tell him to... Oh, is reserved by Darby. Okay, so the guys are actually already building all this. So this is brilliant. Now buildings automatically get a roof once they're enclosed. So once all the edges meet, they um, get a roof over. You can see that then on the dark 
uh, darkness that is going to be there. This is not the darkness. That doesn't mean there's a roof. This is just the sun coming from the right hand side somewhere. Um, what we also need is a growing zone. So if we look at, I pause the game again and look, look at zones and click at growing zones, you can see create a zone where your colonists will try to grow certain kind of plants. Now you just place it down, the growing zone. Um, I will put it, actually, will I put it somewhere here. No, 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 no. Where will we put it? So yeah, somewhere out of the way or... Let's start by putting it here, for example, and the behind it. Mm, I don't know. This is always what takes up so much time for me. So what I'm gonna do in the moment, I'm gonna worry worry less about what it looks like and just put it put it here. Okay, so I will just put it here. So a growing zone. Okay, and what they will start doing then they will start planting things. Okay, so if we look at our overview while the guys are working, who is very good at planting planting and cutting so we have Darby so we actually I'm probably better off looking at the actual people themselves um, character growing three Darby oh loves growing and Andrea loves growing as well so they will start going here after they finish with that pretty much i would say Levin is very good he's already starting to build the generator now we also want to build some batteries actually structures um no power and stores electricity when there's excess power and yields it when there's not charge batteries tend to explode when heated or wet oh so they need to be indoors they definitely need to be indoors yeah, we want to make sure we build a little room maybe for them. In the moment, if we have electricity generated from a geyser, then we don't need to worry about uh, losing power, I suppose. So, for food or production, you need something called a nutrient paste dispenser. So, what they do then is what they grow in here, they put in here, I think. I'm not quite sure, but um, you need it. So, Q and R lets you rotate it. And let's put it close enough so that it gets power. Okay. And then a hopper. Uh, it holds resources for use by machines like nutrient paste dispensers. So the guys will put all the resources in here. Just build a few of them. Oh. I can't build one there. Why not? Oh, must be placed next to something that needs a hopper. Okay, so that's as close as that's as many as we can do. Well, we could have put one actually more behind it, but yeah, that will do for the moment. Okay, now these guys are asleep, they're tired, they're resting, so the game auto saves, I think, every morning. So if you look at your characters, you can see um, their health, they're hungry. They're resting. There's food here. So actually, this food seems to be locked. So actually, allow the guys to pick that up, actually, because uh, they should be helping themselves to some food rations. Definitely. Absolutely, because this is survival meals. Like, the guys should be eating. Ah, I must have forgotten to unlock it. Now, Levin is a bit of a night owl here. Like, he seems to be... Um oh, I think he's just eating, is he? food what is Levin doing what are you doing oh he ate yes he, he ate some food very good so one of these guys now has five meals left instead of six very good good job you, you ate something so you don't have to micromanage everything it's it's quite pleasant actually to watch these guys uh, work away so Yeah, so okay, what we need, we need to tell them we need more trees and we need some. What do we need? Okay, 94 constructions. We need wood and we need metal. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this is metal, this rough looking thing is metal ore. So we're gonna get one of our characters who's very good at mining to start mining. Okay, so mining one, so he's out of the question. Andrea, you three mining, so I think. Darby is going to be our mining guru, is it? Or is going to be Andrea? 
Andrea actually has a passion for mining ever so slightly so we're gonna use her as our miner so come over here now actually, can, can I make a walk here no okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give orders I'm gonna say hey mine this 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 and this and this and then I'm gonna click on Andrea and I can now right click here and say prioritize mining metal ore so there we go Andrea is now mining metal ore while Davin just stands around like a Levin stands around like a plank and does nothing so how about you do instead um, cut wood okay and seeing that we have a storage facility here why don't you cut all the wood right here in this area here and just make sure we have things all selected yeah okay that's all the trees and now we're gonna tell you to go and prioritize cutting trees so that way everybody should have something to do to progress with our little base and if we don't get overrun before we have the walls up let's speed up actually and see how the guys get on so Darby is great. Darby's already grown food. This is going to be awesome. I hope that they have still food here, which is great to start off with. So the guys are eating the meals. They still have six left here, six left here. And that that is really good. This is good. Um, what is this? This is rock chunks. That's actually stone. We don't need stone in the moment. So yeah, I could have started this a bit better, actually. I didn't even worry about mining too much at the start. like, And um, I probably should have. Lavin or Levin, why are you not working? Go prioritize cutting trees. Okay, Levin is not really somebody I want. So let's plant cutting. Is that is that for cutting trees? No, that's I need mean, what is cutting trees? Construction. Is that for cutting trees? No. Growing? No. They have mining, but they don't have wood cutting. They have plant cutting. That's not the same. Hauling. No. Okay, this is really weird. There's absolutely no cutting, which is really, really strange. Okay, let's leave it like that then. Whoops. Let's close this again. Okay. We just have to keep an eye on Levin and constantly tell him what to do because he's very, very, very irresponsible. So we're just going to tell him to keep cutting trees while everybody else does their job properly. How can I tell him just to constantly cut trees? Because he's very annoying that he just doesn't listen. Oh, they're having a bit of a chat. You see, like, they're doing some social interacting, which is also very good. It teaches them, obviously, to be social. And I assume they gain some skills then of being social. Actually, so what I need them to do now is I need... Um, I need all three of them to prioritize mining. Why oh, can I not do that? Okay, why can I not? Okay, prioritize mining. You see, it seems that when you click on that one field, that's all you can tell him to do. That one square. And then Darby, prioritize mining metal. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tell them that mining is a bit more important than everything else. That should actually make sure they keep mining anything a mark as mining so if I keep m going in the orders and say hey keep mining then hopefully they will do that then what I can tell Darby 
is now now that we have enough metal prioritized in nutrition paste because we need to get food oh we got a message clear a group from Hamlet at the plane are visiting the colony so these guys here they seem to be good guys they're visiting the colony okay now I think I'm gonna leave it at this length um, now we're slowly getting sorted okay I'm slowly getting used to controlling these guys now <laughs> they're just running around here in the middle of the night going like hey look at this like wow this is amazing um, I'm not sure why there's no power let's just see if there is anything we need to do like build a conduit and I don't know, is it, is it here? Yeah, okay. Whatever. So we tell also the guys that they need to haul things. And they pretty much need to haul these guys here. So we have some stones. So for one person, we're just going to have to make hauling a priority. Hauling, 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 hauling. Yeah, let's make that a priority for Darby. Come on, Darby. What's your priority? Okay, now here we go. They're building some food. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, what happened? A local squirrel has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. So, okay. That is not good. So we have a, a, a squirrel on a rampage and it killed one of the visitors. Where's the rampaging squirrel? I can't see it. It was here just a second ago. Killed this guy. And is that a squirrel? No, there's a wild boar. Where's the squirrel? Oh, there's the squirrel. Okay. Andrea Lavin kill the squirrel how can I kill the squirrel um, can I tell you too to use your guns yes toggle military draft and yes they killed okay the squirrel is running off that's fine Let's get everybody back to, um, or oh, they get the underlined name of the military drafted. Okay, so I leave it like this, guys. Um, I think I'm in a good position, in a good starting area. The guys should slowly get everything they need to build it up. They have power, they have um, getting slowly, they're getting the food in now. And, okay, these guys, I'm, I'm just lucky that this squirrel is not my problem and sure go ahead kill everyone else for all i care that's just as long as you don't come into my place and um let's see what happened here a mercenary chef from hamlet at the plains visiting colony he's named ernest chef soaker and that's that guy here who's damaged we'll see if we can communicate with him maybe in the next episode okay that's excellent um i hope you got a bit of an overview of what this game is about and how it works now i'm gonna obviously uh, try my best to not look like a complete dumbass and uh, i'm gonna get a little bit more information on what i have to do i'm i kind of know what i have to do but i'm still kind of learning to prioritization of things and the controls of this game properly like with your people the overviews how to prioritize for people to do certain jobs and work and improving their skills but that will come with time and I'm thinking it's a good thing. I mean, I don't want to give this this Let's Play as a guide. I want to make this the Let's Play series about this to share my experience of playing the game with you. Um, feel free to leave any hints or tips uh, in the comments. And uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, like. And if you didn't like it, leave a comment and tell me why. And hopefully it's something I can improve on. Um, otherwise, this is Games for Kicks. Happy gaming.